Jeff Pitts, the founder of Team Hope Delivered, a Team Beachbody team. Four years ago, I felt hopeless. I was overweight, out of shape, had clothes that I kept wearing that didn't fit and made me look terrible. On a hot July, muggy Illinois afternoon, I ran my first mile. I was a high school athlete. I played baseball, volleyball, grew up being active, so I thought it would be no big deal. It was a big deal. My heart was beating out of my chest, sweat was profusely pouring from every pore on my body, and I thought I was going to die. Shortly after that, I stepped on a scale of a Wii Fit, and in a Japanese animated voice, it said, That's obese! And I realized this was a big deal. This was bad news. And that day, I sort of made a decision that the weight that I chose to keep on was going to go. You see, every year, every new year, I made a, the same declaration. I was going to lose 15 pounds when probably I had 50 to lose. In January 1st, I would start out just like everybody else and I would change the way I eat and I would quit drinking sweet tea and I would exercise once or twice or maybe for a month, but nothing really changed. Now we get back on the scale, see the same number, and feel hopeless. Well, that July day, mile one was day one. And I started a journey of weight loss from 227 to 217, from 217 to 209, from 209 to 202, from 202 to 196, and all of a sudden I was a new man and I was below 200 in my, where I hadn't been since I was 18 years old. And it sort of stopped for about a year. And I kind of lived at 195, 196, and I sort of stayed active and then I decided again, made another decision. I gotta lose 10 more pounds. And so I started going to a local gym and getting active and running on a treadmill and running outside and doing some lifting. And I lost another 10 pounds and Finally, a friend of mine noticed and he sent me a Facebook message. He said, Jeff, I'm in this great organization called Team Beachbody and I'd love to help you succeed in your weight loss goals. Did you think I jumped on it? No. I ignored that friend for over a year. Matter of fact, I never responded to that friend. 14 months later, a friend of mine came up and said, Jeff, I'm getting ready to do Insanity. And I said, I think I know a guy who sells that. Got on Facebook messaged that friend and said, I'm ready to start. In 60 days, I dropped 17 pounds. I thought I was going to die at the day one of the fit test. I literally stopped the video and thought I was going to throw up and pass out. And I finally turned it back on and finished the last two exercises. It's not been easy. It's been an up and down journey. It's been a journey that has left me with days of not wanting to work out and days of not wanting to get up at 5 a.m. to even work out and days of wanting to eat sugar cookies over and over and eat a whole case of, of Girl Scout cookies or drink sweet tea. It's not easy, but every day is a decision. Because that little animated voice on a Wii Fit said, that's obese. But suddenly the feeling of hopelessness was gone. And I sensed that I had hope, I sensed that there was change and I see change. Today at 168 pounds, the weight I was at 16 years old on my driver's license, I'm a new man. I'm a new father. I'm a new husband. I'm a new friend. I'm somebody different. See, the hopelessness is gone, and it was traded in for hope. If you're sitting there watching this video and you think, Jeff, you don't know my story. Jeff, you don't know where I'm at. You don't know what's wrong with me. You don't know how long I've struggled. You don't know. No, I don't. What I know is a sense of hopelessness. But what I do know as well is hope is the expectation of something better at the end of a thing. And right now, you have the opportunity to trade hopelessness for hope. You have the opportunity to give up and give in and decide and commit and succeed at something. Mile one will be the hardest, but day two will be just as hard and day three will be just as hard and day 365 might still be hard and day 742 will still be hard but all of a sudden instead of hopelessness you have a hope that the end of a thing is better than the beginning so what are you saying Jeff? I'm asking you this 
If you're in a struggle and you feel hopeless, would you like some hope? I would love to help you. I would love to see your life change. I'd love to see that sense of hopelessness overcome and you filled with hope and joy and expectation that great things are supposed to do in your life. That change is possible.